got this hyperbolic trig identity up here on the board. It doesn't have a name like the Pythagorean identity the way our, our um, Pythagorean identity for regular trig does because it doesn't correspond to the Pythagorean theorem. But it's the hyperbolic generalization of that. Now, with the Pythagorean identity for regular trig, the main one is that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. But we know we can manipulate that to get two additional identities, one that gives me a relationship between tangent squared and secant squared, and one that gives me a relationship between cotangent squared and cosecant squared. Well, the same trick works here. <laughs> if I want to get to the version of the identity that gives me a relationship between tanch squared and sech squared, I want to say, what do they have in their denominators? Tanch and Seach both have a kosh in the denominator. So I'm going to divide through by that denominator squared. I'm going to divide through by kosh squared of x. Now kosh squared over kosh squared is 1, minus cinch squared over kosh squared, that's just Cinch over cosh of x, cinch of x over cosh of x squared, that's tanch of x squared, or tanch squared x. And 1 over cosh squared is the same as the fraction 1 over cosh, quantity squared, that's sech squared of x. So this identity gives me a relationship between tanch squared and sech squared. I will confess, over the years, even though I don't try to memorize a lot of things, over the years, I have accidentally memorized all three versions of the Pythagorean identities. And I've accidentally memorized them. I've been given weird mnemonic devices for them and stuff like that. I don't have this one memorized. I don't think it's worth my time to try to memorize it. I know cosh squared minus cinch squared equals 1. And I know that the other versions exist. And I know how to find them. And I can do it relatively quickly. So what I want you to do is derive the third of these related identities, the one that gives me a relationship between cotanch squared and cosech squared. So you're going to start with cosh squared x minus cinch squared x equals 1, but this time just divide through by cinch squared and simplify that. Go ahead and work that out. I've got that worked out here. I just divided through by cinch squared. And then when we simplify, we get cotanch squared minus 1 equals cosech squared. Again, do not try to memorize each of these identities. If you do, probably what's going to happen is you'll forget the regular trig identities or you'll get them confused. Know this one. Have a working knowledge of it. Know how to get to the other two so that if you need them, you've got them. I should also mention there are other identities presented in your textbook. There's a sum formula and a difference formula for cosh and cinch, and then that can be translated into sum and difference formulas for the other hyperbolic trig functions. And then we can get double angle formula, or not really double angle because we're not really thinking of them as angles, but we can get a formula for cosh of 2x and cinch of 2x and all sorts of things. Okay. I'm not going to hold you responsible for those. There are lots and lots more identities that we could work with, but we won't be working with. What you're responsible for are the ones that are essentially part of our definitions, the quotient and reciprocal identities. You're responsible for knowing that cosh is even and cinch is odd, and being able to then figure out whether the other hyperbolic trig functions are even or odd. And you're responsible for knowing these three identities Although my interpretation of knowing is know that one and know how to use it to get the other two if you need to use them.